Well, for sighting in at, say, 100 yards, it's not a huge deal unless the wind is really blowing. You know, if you've got, I will say, a 15 mile an hour wind or more, you're looking at nudging that bullet an inch to maybe two inches off, depending on the ballistics coefficient of your bullet and the, the wind direction. If it's a right angle wind, that maximizes the effect. But if it's quartering either from or to or something, it's much less. But yeah, you want to be a little bit concerned. So ideally, try to zero under calm conditions. And then in the hunting field, you really have to understand wind deflection, the clock, how it figures is that wind coming in at a 20 degree angle or a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle and which direction and all this kind of stuff. It takes a lot of study, but it's worth studying because the biggest challenge for hunting at distance, they say past 200 yards when it's really windy or 300 yards when it's just even a 10 mile an hour wind, you're going to be getting that bullet moving as much as a foot off target 